Stack Overflow Band Chat GPT. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer Thomason, and here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers and our licensed coding boot camps, as well as build custom software solutions for companies. I do a lot of work as a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and a solid 25 years in software development, I've mastered the art of transforming technology, teams, and products. All right, let's talk about something that hit a lot of the development community. Stack Overflow Band Chat GPT. Yep, they straight up banned it. For anyone who's relied on Stack Overflow to get through those long coding days, you'll know just how wild this is. Stack Overflow made the call because ChatGPT, despite being impressive, had a bad habit of being confidently wrong. And I mean really wrong. But what's fascinating here isn't just the ban, it's what it reveals about AI and why human developers are far from obsolete. So what's the biggest reason for the ban? ChatGPT was generating answers that sounded great, but were completely wrong. Think about that for a second. A tool so sophisticated it can generate code snippets and explanations with perfect grammar, but still give you a completely broken solution. That's the kind of AI overconfidence that can be dangerous. When Stack Overflow users started flooding the platform with ChatGPT generated answers, it became clear that this wasn't helping anybody. So is this proof that AI is flawed? Absolutely. But more than that, it shows that AI for all of its strengths can't replace human judgment and the human software developers. As developers, we don't just write code, we solve problems. And solving problems often requires thinking critically, understanding the nuances of a specific problem, and yes, sometimes banging your head on the wall for hours until the solution comes. ChatGPT just isn't there. Also, make sure that you go back and check out our previous coding videos, because we have hundreds of free coding videos, all with free coding samples that we give away totally for free, because we love training software developers. Now, let's break down why this ban is actually a good thing. First off, it reminds us that quality matters. Just because an AI can spit out code doesn't mean it's reliable or even usable. Developers need to understand why the code works, not just copy-paste solutions. ChatGPT in its current form can't provide that level of insight. It can give you a decent starting point, build some boilerplate code, sure, but it can't replace the deep understanding that comes from experience and trial and error. Now, another point here is that developers were getting lazy. Yep, I said it. With AI tools like ChatGPT, it's easy to fall into the trap of letting the machine do the heavy lifting. So then why bother learning the ins and outs of a programming language when you can just ask ChatGPT for an answer? Well, the problem is that makes us less effective as problem solvers. Relying on AI shortcuts is a fast track to missing out on learning the hard but necessary lessons. And trust me, after 25 years of software development, I can tell you that those hard lessons are what make you a great developer. It's also worth noting that ChatGPT isn't designed for the nuance of code. It's great at an understanding natural language, but code is a whole different beast. A single misplaced semicolon or a misunderstanding of a library can throw everything off. And when ChatGPT confidently hands you broken code, it doesn't help. In fact, it can make things worse. You'll spend more time debugging the AI's output than if you just solved the problem and written the code from scratch. Remember, we've got hundreds of free coding samples, so make sure you go back and check those out because we love to train software developers. Now, the interesting thing is that this ban also opens up a larger conversation about the future of AI and development. Does this mean that AI tools like ChatGPT are useless for developers? Absolutely not. AI is a fantastic tool, but it's just that it's a tool. It should be used to augment human intelligence, not replace it. The real value comes when you use AI to assist in brainstorming or testing ideas ideas, not as a crutch for solving problems. It's all about knowing the limitations. Now, the ban also highlights the need for more responsible AI use. Just because AI can generate an answer doesn't mean it's a good answer. Stack Overflow's moderation team made the right call here. If the platform was flooded with low quality answers, the entire community would suffer. It's up to us as developers to make sure we're using these tools responsibly, and part of that means not blindly trusting AI. You have to do your own homework. Another angle to consider is how this impacts junior developers. For a lot of beginners, Stack Overflow is a lifeline. Hey, even for a lot of seniors, it's a lifeline. They rely on the site for accurate answers and introducing AI-generated content that's often upvoting wrong answers. It could seriously derail the learning process. So AI doesn't teach you why something works. It just gives you a possible answer, which might be completely incorrect. Junior developers need mentorship, not machine-generated guesses. So. Let's talk about the flip side. ChatGPT could have been a game changer if used properly. Imagine an AI that could accurately help debug, write, or optimize code. That's a dream, right? Unfortunately, we're not quite there yet. This ban is a reminder that we need to keep refining AI tools before they're ready for prime time in the development world. Until then, nothing beats rolling up your sleeves and diving into the code yourself. And hey, speaking of diving in, don't forget to check out our previous coding samples because we have hundreds of free coding videos all with coding samples. Now, finally, this whole situation proves one thing. AI isn't 
replacing developers anytime soon. For all its hype, AI still has a long ways to go before it can match human expertise in coding. ChatGPT might be able to help with basic tasks or boilerplate code and suggest ideas, but when it comes to solving real-world coding problems, nothing beats the experience and judgment of a seasoned developer. AI is a tool, not a replacement. Now, what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Do you disagree? I love to have a great discussion, so make sure you leave a comment down below and make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Here at Startup Hack, we love training software developers in our licensed coding boot camps, as well as to bring custom software solutions to companies. So hit the link down below or check out startuphack.com slash Spencer today and we can help out your company.